Heard about my past, things I used to do The games I used to play, the girls I didn't last I know what's on your mind, you think I'm doing wrong Can I say what is real, you all the only one that tried me Me talking crazy, I need you all in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late, but I still can't check in with you I'd put a string of pearls right in your hand Make love on the beach of jet black sand Outside in the rain We can do it all night I'll touch all the places he would not Some he never knew would get you high Nothing is forbidden when we touch Baby Did I wanna do All the things you may do do Hey baby With my mind, my heart, my body saying Don't listen to what people say Yeah through girl y'all all of these wigs how, how did how did it get to this point oh my gosh so we're ramping up for a really large wig sale and uh, I guess I'm just a little bit over my head because I kind of don't you know I don't know where to start um, initially I was gonna sell the wigs on Facebook marketplace um, but then I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> but I'm actually going to sell the wigs on Big Cartel. So I'm going to have to build out the website and all that type of stuff. So guys, the wigs are going to be final sale. Um, and then I noticed, girl, y'all, literally I only wore these wigs to do the installation. But I'm going to wash them for you and condition them um, as well. Um, and of course, I think you should, just my opinion, Rewash the wig anyway, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's gonna be nice and washed. So, y'all, this one is so cutie. It's an air cap. So, this one is like an air cap unit um, with the straps on it. I liked this unit a lot, but girly, my head was small. <laughs> but this is a summer wig. So, that's why you see my fingers in here, you know. So, in the summer, you can throw this gorgeous wig on, girl, and you just go, honey, so your scalp can still breathe. So, yeah, girl. But anyway, y'all, y'all, I have over 25 wigs at this point that I need to sell. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe just do 10 at a time and, uh, you know, do it like that. Anyway, girls let me actually just kind of start sorting through the wigs um for right now and then um do some other little stuff around the house and then i'll i'll uh, call you guys back
why am I over here? Let me bring this down. Why am I over here watching Pocket Watching with JT? Girl, why is this boy Mansa Muntha? <laughs> Mansa Muntha? Mansa Muntha? I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Girl, he didn't convince people that they did not have to pay their rent. They don't have to pay utilities or their cell phone bills. And even if they have a job, they can get on some good old food stamps. Baby, one of these dudes and took this man advice and, went and, and has gotten evicted and now is in court trying to explain this, this credit system and his trust that he didn't let this scammer convince him of. In court. But, you know, I want to bring the brother up. In Girl, the this is going to be so good. Ooh. Maybe that guy did it the wrong way. Maybe he can teach how to do it the right way. Y'all, wait a minute. This is hood consumer advisor never pays bills. But anyway, girl, wait a minute. Let me finish watching this because I need me a good laugh. And then I'm gonna come back and tell y'all what ended up happening. Hey, Texas. What's up? Why would a law from 1666 in the UK have power in the United States? Because we're still dealing with such the case, my friend. Those are trusts. You read the no, no, no. version. Let, maybe you misheard me. Let me say I that. heard you. You're reading the UK version. Right I heard wrong. you. I heard you. The Sesta K Act no, is from the here. The United Kingdom have a power in effect in the United States. Because it does. How? Because we use it and it works. How? What do you mean how? I just it is it. a law from the United Kingdom from 1666. So you don't think laws are connected, my brother? You think United Kingdom? No, I do not believe a law from 1666 so can, can you believe? passed by Parliament in the United Kingdom has power or effect in the United States. Y'all, when I, I tell you this dude, you. Mance or whatever, is one of the Kingdom. most I'm ignorant I'm men hey, bro, that I have mean, ever I'm observed. Okay, y'all, let me go try to find some brain cells because they all gone at this point after listening to this dude. Guys, we're on our way to the grocery store. We got to go to Aldi's because I need to re-up on some vegetables. Guys, you know that I like to be uh, honest and transparent with y'all. I hope you guys can see me okay. But anyway, girls, I have... My appetite is out of control. And if I can just really be honest, it is because I, slow, I slacked up on eating celery and cucumbers and I hadn't been eating that type of stuff as much and as a result I kind of <laughs> I became addicted to mashed potatoes within these last couple of weeks and I think for me it's been very comforting uh, mashed potatoes is, uh, is something that I can eat and I can eat a lot 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 of it and I don't get sick, I don't end up throwing up, nothing happens, and it's just been really fun. And it's made me feel like the old, you know, it just made me feel like a normal person. Uh, but unfortunately, as a result of that, that for whatever reason, when I was eating those mashed potatoes, it was starting to stimulate my appetite. I don't know if it's the starch, uh, my bombshell nutritionist, you know, please let me know. But um, I think if it, if that was the case, it stimulated my appetite, causing me to want to eat other things. Unfortunately, the other things I've been wanting to eat has been uh, chocolatey, crispity, crunchy, soft, delicious cake, um, cookies, just anything bad. Let me just say this, I'm on a slippery slope. And I can feel myself going down this slippery slope and I'm trying to catch it before it gets out of control. So I think what I'm going to do when we get back to the house, I'm going to get ready to wash these wigs. I took these nails off as I want everything to be listed by the 21st of January. Um, yeah, so that's what we have going on. 
I'm trying to think what else I wanted to tell y'all. I wanted to do a segment of corporate Karen, but sis, I ain't looking like corporate Karen right now. Let me, cause I'm sure y'all tired of going in the grocery store with the kid. Let me go in this grocery store, get this stuff, and then I'll call you guys back either when I get in the car or when I get back to the house. I know I said I was gonna call y'all back when I got home, but we actually went all the way home and girl, I get home and y'all another Aldi charge popped up on my phone. I paid with Apple Pay, so my receipts come on the phone. So my stuff was like $21. And then I get home and all of a sudden, um, I look at the phone and it's an additional charge. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I tried to call Aldi. Unfortunately, they don't have like a customer service line. So I had to drive all the way back up here because what happened was the person behind me, she paid for her groceries on my card. Well, the cashier, the, ca the guy, the check, check or whatever you call a mail cashier he was trying to like move too fast trying to get everybody out and so he just printed out my receipt and he was like thank you and it, it, he was barely even saying the word thank you and handed me my receipt and I'm like wait a minute like did it did everything process yeah yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that that charge that was on my card probably was on came through prior to me even leaving the store, but I just didn't recognize it till I got home. So let me say that. But anyway, yeah, I drove all the way back up here, baby, run me my money, run me my money. And so the lady behind me, I noticed she kept looking at me, but this was way before, you know, the transaction. I don't know, she kept looking or whatever, but I'm all thing is this, sis, you knew that, that you didn't pay for your transaction. You knew that you didn't get charged anything. So people can be just really freaking dishonest. Like, I would like if it was my turn to pay and then the receipt or anything didn't come out oh you know what prop oh y'all know what probably happened because I'm really trying to make sense of this I think my card information was still on the thing and it probably said would you like another another transaction I don't know I don't know how it happened but what I do know is the person who um, agreed to the transaction knew you know, they knew that they wasn't paying for their stuff, but girl, whatever. Y'all, we about to pull up to, I thought we was gonna pull up to Jersey and Mike's, girl, cause we might as well try them cause we out here tonight. I had to eat me some celery um, before I went back up to um, Aldi because I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know if it was about to be some slow singing and flower, bring, bring it. Girl, wait a minute, girl, is Jersey and Mike's closed? Uh-uh, girl, y'all, not them open and ain't nobody in here. Uh-uh, I'm about to go. Uh-uh, that, uh -uh, that ain't a good sign. Oh, no, baby, let me go on go. Uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh, ain't nobody, not one person? No. No, sir, not me. I want to weigh in on the Cat Williams situation. One of you gorgeous bombshell said that you guys could not see could not see uh could not wait and see my take on everything and how i felt uh -uh, girl nothing running a damn thing um okay so this is how i feel i absolutely believe cat williams now i'm gonna be honest i didn't believe him initially with about cedric the entertainer because i do have a i love cedric the entertainer and i don't i'm like now nah, you i don't believe it because you don't ever want to believe uh, that something bad about someone that you adore, that you love, you enjoy their comedy or whatever. But this is what I want to say about Cad Williams and him talking about people stealing content, stealing ideas. Now, I will say I don't believe that it is the direct artist or the direct comedian that's still the things I think that they get to a level of success and they have a team of people that go and they seek out and sort out um you know different concepts content and ideas guys I absolutely believe that they be down to the YouTube stealing ideas from the girls it is not a coincidence that one of you like your favorite YouTuber can create a series and it is no coincidence that a major artist, world-known artist selling out shows has a album titled after that particular series. And I have seen it, guys. Like, guys, I am a huge TV buff, guys. I'm a huge TV buff. 
um, I was a TV kid growing up and then as I got older and I started to create uh, I started to enjoy uh, the creative process more than I enjoyed television I became a huge YouTube buff and it has still been too many times where I've seen the girls my fades down to the YouTube and then I'll watch someone's video I'll watch a TV show I'll listen to a song and you'll be like wait a minute now nah. You know, and guys, even down to, and you guys are going to die when I tell y'all this. Y'all know that, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, I'm loving it, McDonald's theme. Guys, it is a guy that I followed. I had watched him. He, he was one of the very first creators that I started watching on YouTube when I discovered YouTube. Guys, he was so funny, but he had been saying that on his channel. Ba, 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 ba. I'm loving it because he loved McDonald's so much. He made up that song. Guys, years later, McDonald's started saying, having that as their quick little slogan. And he came down to YouTube and he made a rant about it. I don't know if the rant is still up, but he was so angry. There is another girl that I watch. Guys, this girl is a wig enthusiast. Sis is one of the coldest girls down to the YouTube with the wigs sis is the creator of the ball cap method this girl single-handedly created the ball cap method okay and the ball cap method is basically a technique she developed so it would actually look as though your scalp was under your wig and uh, so the wigs would look more seamless natural and flawless guys a major wig company stole her concept she was so hurt she made a video about it and she was emotional she cried and i don't fucking blame her y'all to my youtube girls big and small guys people still because even if you have on youtube 500,000 subscribers 300,000 subscribers 100,000 subscribers they still don't veer you as highly you know, as successful because you have someone who has millions and millions and millions of people that watch them. Artists that have millions of uh, followers and supporters. It's nothing for them to steal from someone with a following of 500,000, 800,000. And so they don't, they don't veer you as um, competition or are they okay so I guess the, what I'm trying to say is this they're looking at you as someone that's small and people are gonna think because they're the bigger create they're the bigger artist with the larger following they kind they they came up with the concept or whatever so guys don't be surprised if you're doing a certain thing or you have a certain slogan or you create a certain series or you create a certain thing and I can go on and on and on all night. But guys, don't be surprised if you look up and something in your spirit is like, do she, is, or I, do, I know damn well. Do, do she watch my videos? If you feel that they do, they probably do. I'm talking about large celebrities with a larger following and you be like, but I, I, I did that uh, uh, wait a minute bitch I did that in my video if you feel like they probably did something that you know you did and this is just your thing because it's just what you naturally do uh, somebody been down to the listen somebody been down to the YouTube streets scout just like they send these scouts to um, down to high schools down to colleges they send scouts out they send recruiters out to jump down jump on to the uh, streets of the LinkedIn looking for new talent stealing talent from companies uh, whatever they have to do guys it is no different down to the YouTube the, 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 the people be stealing and they taking your shit <laughs> they're recultivating it recreating it and, and crafting it and customizing it to fit into what they do. So if you guys wanted to know my take on it, that's it. 
And yes, I do believe that people be stealing from the girls down to the YouTube. But y'all, it's almost one o'clock in the morning and I'm debating on if I need to start washing these wigs. I don't feel like it. Girl, they, they finna start arguing in the hallway. I'm not even finna run to the door tonight. Girl, I'm so fucking sick of running to this door. I don't know what to do. Because I hear them. Just heard somebody say, get out. Okay, well. Girl, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna miss Arga on the Harbor, baby. Because that's all they do over here. But anyway, so, yeah, let me decide what I'm going to do if I'm going to wash a wig or not. <coughs> and then I'll give you guys a call back. Maybe tonight I'm yours. Come on and unwrap your gift. You can find it in stores. Some tell them made for you, God. It's like you. All right, guys, so today's corporate Karen message is this. Guys, this message is not to influence or encourage you guys to, uh, you know, kiss up uh, to people at work, but this message is to encourage and to influence you being diplomatic at work. Um, I've seen too many times when uh, people are very difficult to work with, uh, you know, managers uh, like team leaders and those alike they just don't trust people like that you know we have so many different levels of trust um you don't have to lie you don't have to steal but you could just simply be a person that is either uh diabolical uh, volatile have outbursts very difficult to work with um you know you're you're if you are somebody that's very um complicated you question everything but not in the sense of uh in the sense of questioning because you don't understand but questioning because you want to be disagreeable unfortunately guys that's what companies consider fat i don't know if y'all ever heard the term of oh we're just looking to cut the fat um, I've seen this so many times in my career working in engineering. We could have somebody who is amazing at their job, but because that particular person would be extremely difficult to work with, um, they would complicate things. Um, as a result of them complicating things, they would cause projects to drag out a lot longer than uh, necessary. When, it time, when time came to start laying people off, those were the first people to go. Um, and so you definitely don't want to be, you know, part of the fat that is being cut. Like a lot of times people like that, that are very difficult to work with, even though they are often really, really good at their jobs. Guys, I've seen so many times where those people have been let go and then they'll bring, they'll bring someone in that has half of the experience but twice as much of the, you know, um, willingness. So someone who is very willing to learn and very open to different processes and procedures. So 
I just think one no I'm not saying I was perfect at work because I was not um but I was never difficult to work with I think my difficult to work with would be to be really really quiet that's as difficult as it got I would just be quiet <laughs> and so um for me I've always taken the approach of, of being diplomatic so even on an email if someone sent me something nasty or snarky or that I didn't agree with I would never respond in that way. I would always respond in the way of being diplomatic. So you want to make sure that you're dip at least diplomatic at work. Um, you know, sometimes companies will keep those types of people around, but you know, you don't really ever get to see those people get to higher positions. You know what I'm saying? They kind of stay in those positions. And oftentimes people like that, they do want to excel. They want to go on. They want to do different things. You know, they want to move up with the company. Um, I've even seen a time where they talked to one of the guys at work. He was a senior guy, but he was just a very difficult guy. And so it was like a trick question to me. It wouldn't, well, not a, it was just a trick process. The process was them asking him, you know, like, where did he want to, what did he want to do in the company? Well, of course, it didn't matter if he said, I want to excel, because then they would have used his his attitude or his difficulties, him being difficult against him. Or if he said, I want to stay where I am, they still would have said, well, that's the very reason why we don't think that you're a great fit for the organization or we should go our separate ways. So again, I never want you guys to think that I'm trying to tell you to put your clown nose on or even your brown nose on. But I am saying that it is just best to be diplomatic. Don't ever get caught out here uh, being nasty on an email because you're going to get some Karens and some Kyles that are very nasty on emails. But unfortunately, some people in the workplace, they tend to get along. Uh, they tend to get away with things a lot more often than, than others. And so I think... Um, uh, and I think the next point I just want to drive home is that um, trust comes in many different packages. Again, you don't have to be stealing at work. You don't have to be down to the uh, to the inventory room sneaking and stealing markers and binders and paper. Um, and you don't have to be lying at work. You know what I'm saying? To not be trusted. You could simply just be someone that is extremely difficult to work with. Again, volatile, diabolical um you know that type of person and unfortunately it could cost you a lot of great opportunities but i thought that it was important that i share that message being that we are in the beginning of the it is the beginning of the year we are in q1 so i just wanted to shed some knowledge and some light on the subject of trust at work and being easy to work with and so yeah i am corporate karen and this has been a public service announcement girls it is so freaking um it's like super sunny but super freaking cold guys i hope it's not too much noise going on because i don't have uh the microphone connected but that's fine so anyway girls y'all it is a movement i watched stephanie perry um, and she does commentary about our content about black women leaving the workplace and, you know, basically how to save money so you can move abroad. And, you know, just uh, she shares her experiences about living in different countries and stuff like that or whatever. And her content is really, really good. It's super engaging. She typically goes live on Saturday mornings and uh, she shares like how she makes her money to be able to live the life that she lives and she was just saying in her most recent live that she is a serial uh <laughs> she's a serial job quitter now i'm not telling y'all 
to go out and quit your job. But what I am going to tell you guys is to, uh, you know, diversify your income because I've seen it all too many times. Like we just talked about the corporate Karen. Now that was more again related to people who are very difficult to work with and that type of thing but I've seen it so many times where companies will just decide to restructure and you know they don't typically worry about who's impacted by the restructuring of the organization y'all know how it is and so if you have an opportunity to leave your job and you really are tired of you know working in corporate america you know even before you get to that point try to put some other things in place um you know uh i think this conversation is really influenced by me you know like with youtube i think you know um i still consider myself someone that's still trying to figure it out up and coming i'm gonna be honest girl i don't know if you ever figure youtube out but anyway i feel like i'm still trying to figure this thing out girl and um i don't want this i guess this i'm pretty early in the game as far as i'm concerned i haven't been in, on youtube for three years but i've already concluded that i don't want this to be my only source of income you know what i'm saying because i don't feel that youtube is going to go anywhere but one day you know, you may not want to pick up, girl, ooh, somebody next to me getting spicy. He do not like this traffic. But anyway, one day you just might not want to pick up the camera. You know, you might get tired of lights, camera, action. You know what I'm saying? You just might want the lights and the action without the camera. Or not, let me not say you, I'm more or less referring to myself. And so I just want to be smart and create different, you know, different, um, different streams of income. But let me say this, not, so, no, I guess it's not, uh, okay. I, I don't think that I would get tired of picking up the camera, but I will say this. I think like maybe you'll get tired. Uh-uh. You know what? I'm about to go around, babe. I think maybe you'll get tired of just creating the type of content, you know, that you create. Like maybe you'll get tired of uh, vlogging. Like, okay, I'm tired of vlogging. I want to do something different. Um, you know, and then maybe that quote unquote something different won't yield the same type of money that vlogging does, you know? And so... I, you know, of course, I tell you girls to start trying to diversify your income. But when I be when I be giving you guys this advice, I'm talking to myself also. You know, I would never give you guys advice that I wouldn't take. Um, so yeah, and then too, it's so many studies showing and and research showing that Black women are leaving the workspace in droves. In fact, uh, Black women are becoming like uh you know some of the the newest businesses are being opened by black women and also let me say this girl they were saying in one study that i read that it's not so much as uh black women wanting to quit and leave the workforce a lot of black women are feeling forced out of the workforce you know what i'm saying and it's just like wow and then others you know like myself i think again i'm not against working a corporate job or anything like that but I just got tired of the politics and the Karens and the I, I'm gonna be honest girls I just got tired so I just wanted to talk to you guys about that this is my sister calling so let me call y'all back So this is okay, it's all the same. So that's number six. Number eight. Let's see. Let's try number eight. Oh no, why is everything smelling like smoky Tabasco? Oh my gosh. Oof. Good lord. Uh-uh, I can't take it. Let's see if they have a different one. Oh. 
All right, so what, that's not gonna work. Oh, I thought that somebody told me that they have, someone told me that they have a body, uh, oh yeah, here we go, right here, shaving cream. But I doubt if it smells as good as, you know, uh-uh, girl, refreshing mint, no thank you. Okay, so that's all we came here to, I had to come in and get some toothpaste and this body wash. So I think we're gonna get this stuff and then I need to see if they have, I need some more coffee. So let me go over here and see if they got the kind of coffee that I like. y'all so i'm back i had to lay down for a minute because i wasn't feeling so good but anyway i think i got cut off when uh well i didn't get cut off basically my sister called but what i was saying when we were in the car is that um for my girls that have been laid off before it never feels good to get laid off you guys know i'm the layoff queen <laughs> and i've been through probably three or more layoffs probably more but anyway um all due to the company closing nothing was performance based but it was just due because due to the companies going bankrupt and poor financial decisions so on and so forth but anyway um i was saying that um oh i wanted to say that if you girls have been laid off this just might be an opportunity for you to uh horn in on something else that you've always wanted to do and this might be your ticket to not having to go back you know, um, a lot of times when they lay you off, they offer you a pretty attractive package. And just based on your money management skills and how you budget and stuff like that, um, you could very well create a path for yourself where you won't have to go back. Maybe what you did at work was just a very unique skill and you can take that skill, monetize it, and then become a consultant. Or maybe you can teach that skill um, you know, if you already started YouTube, maybe you can take this time to really ramp up your YouTube channel. Now, I'm not encouraging you guys to not seek employment or whatever, but I am telling you to strengthen some other skills that could benefit you uh, while you are currently not in the job market. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say. Um, but we are about to pivot. Guys, I got the sweetest email. So I received an email from this beautiful young lady. And she basically explained that this may be an uncommon email, but um, I've come with props and a favor that would be so beautiful and a blessing. My mother, Faith, loves your videos, watches them on multiple devices because she knows that it helps YouTubers and bloggers slash bloggers out. Her birthday is on the 9th. My favor to ask you is in the next video or so, if you could please shout her out as a birthday gift. You are her favorite YouTuber. She watches your videos for new ideas and as entertainment as she works from home. Thank you for reading my email. Have a blessed day. So guys, I was so honored to receive this email. So I'm going to take this time to give a very special shout out to our amazing, fabulous bombshell Faith. Faith, I would like for you to have an amazing birthday. Um, I know that today is January the 9th and, um, you know, just getting around to this and so hopefully by the time this vlog comes out your birthday would have already passed but I hope that you had an amazing birthday I hope that you were receptive to all of the love and the support and the gifts and everything that you received as I know personally from being a Capricorn we can be really shy about our birthday so I hope that you had an amazing birthday and you embraced all the love that you received I just want to take this time to say thank you for supporting my channel and for watching me on multiple devices because girl yes that does help and you have an amazing daughter your daughter loves you so much because baby I had cooked up I had cooked up a scheme well how I go it was a scheme that Todd cooked up to bring the BS back around to us so girl I emailed your daughter back I was like girl I could call your mama and have it on camera if you want me to she's like whoa 
<laughs> Baby, your daughter was like, whoa, nah, 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 wait a minute now. Nah. She was like, no, my mom does not like being put on the spot. So she knows you, obviously she knows you really, really well. Um, at least she know the Capricorn formula because baby, I don't like being put on the spot either. But I don't know if I am going to end the vlog here because I don't really have anything else to talk about. I wanted to try some clothes on, but y'all, it's cold outside. Y'all, it is freaking freezing and I just, I don't want to take my cold, my warm, fuzzy, um turtleneck off because i'm cold guys i don't know why i can't talk today i think maybe i'm just a little bit tired um so yeah um something else that i did want to talk to you guys about is guys we're making a lot of progress i'm looking this way <laughs> uh-huh that way be i'm looking that way be because i'm looking at all of these wigs i've made a lot of progress i think i'm gonna start the wig sale off with 10 wigs um and then we're going to be selling on Big Cartel, but guys, I did secure my own domain. Well, I'm working on secure... Well, I'm just going to say this. I'm kind of in the process of completing the process of having my own domain. So I just have to do a, a couple of little more steps to get that complete. So yeah, girl. Um. So I hope that you guys will be excited about the wig sale. I hope it goes well. I think I told you guys already the wigs are going to be marked off anywhere from 30 to 50% off. That's going to be for the wigs that I probably have only worn uh, for promotions. Now, y'all, girls, I got some wigs that I've already... Um, I got some wigs that I've already worn and I didn't, I didn't, I ain't gonna lie, baby. Some of these wigs I didn't want down to the white meat and I just didn't feel comfortable selling those. But if you guys want me to throw that in the wig sale, I can, but those are going to be heavily, 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 heavily discounted. Also guys with the wigs, it's going to be no exchanges, no refunds, no returns. Um, as you will be able to see, like I'm going to associate the picture, um, like you'll be able to look at the picture and then go to my wig playlist and find that actual wig before you buy to see how I did the installation and stuff like that. So yeah, girl, I think those are all of the um, updates I wanted to share. I'm actually thinking like, I think what I'm going to do is check the footage and see how much we have. And if we have enough, I'm going to end the vlog here. But if not, I'll come back and uh, we'll figure something else out, girl. But um, so let me check real quick and then I'm gonna call y'all back. All right, girls, I am back. Um, hold on, let me, let me get my remote. Here it is, okay. So girls, we are about to watch the act and this is about Gypsy Rose and her mom, Dee Dee. <laughs> This is the lady who was doing all types of stuff um, to her daughter, making her daughter lie and pretend that she could not walk and lying about her age and all this type of stuff or whatever. So we're going to watch this. Um, guys, I'm sorry if my energy is a low, little low in this video. I'm not feeling really well so it's been kind of low but I should be feeling better in a couple of days hopefully I'm feeling much better for my birthday which is January the 11th guys y'all I hope that you guys don't forget about my birthday so that'd be I think that's another reason why I don't be celebrating because I'd be feeling like like people are gonna forget you know what I'm saying so Hold on, let me try to get this movie again. Hold on. Y'all, Gypsy Rose was recently released from prison. So I just wanted to watch this movie to see what it's giving. Um, yeah. But anyway, girls, I'm going to watch a little bit of this. And you know I'm going to come back and give you guys my commentary. Girl, y'all. Y'all have got to watch this. It's called The Act. Y'all, why? I will See, I watched the documentary on this. And girl, the little girl, what well, Gypsy was like, her mama would hold her hand in interviews and she would squeeze her hand real, real hard if she wasn't answering the questions and stuff the way that she wanted to. So, baby, let the manipulation begin. All right, girls, I am just waking up. I fell asleep watching this last night. So, listen, 
Girl, y'all, I fell asleep and then I woke up on the part where the mama made the little girl go get her teeth pulled out. So y'all, the girl was sneaking and drinking Coke and eating like frosting. So her teeth went bad or whatever. So she ended up having to get the teeth taken out. And um, she was like really upset and stuff or whatever. Girl, the mama waited to um the little girl was upset because she wanted some teeth or whatever so the mama literally waited till the little girl was getting ready to receive a reward to give her her new teeth so yeah but yeah girl so i don't know so i went back to episode two because i can't remember what happened at the end of this episode going into episode three or whatever but y'all y'all have got to watch this it's really really interesting and um i feel like it's probably a lot of parents that do this try to pretend that their kid is really sickly to get attention and to get money um this lady was just doing it because I think she just enjoyed the attention and also the money that she was getting from the community. I guess I'll call y'all back when I when I'm officially up. Hey girl, so y'all, I finally finished watching the uh, documentary. I mean, I'm sorry, it wasn't a documentary. It was like a mini series. Girl, y'all, Gypsy then went down to the thing. Girl, her and the boyfriend then offed the mama. She thought she was gonna have a better life going to live with this boy. Girl, she gets to the boy house. He live with his mama them. The damn daddy is an alcoholic. The mama is a shit talker. The boy, she sees his room where they supposed to be sleeping, girl. This fool got the rocks. He had, he collects rocks. The rocks are literally sleeping in the bed with a blanket on top of them. She was like, is it always this messy? And he was like, well, no, 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 it's organized. Cause he was, um, he had like uh, autism. So what, well, you know, kind of like functional autism. So anyway, uh, he was like, no, it's organized, trying to convince her that the, the room was organized, girl. It was a mess. And so she started to realize, like, damn, I didn't offer my mama, but I'm kind of in the same situation I was running away from. So anyway, it just showed up into her uh, when she went to prison and when her and her dad reconnected. So, yeah, it was a good show. But anyway, I just got this package from ASOS. And I actually have this purse already, but unfortunately, I broke the clasp on it and I did not replace it. Girl, why it look like this bag is me? Oh, okay, got a plastic coating on top of it. I was about to say. So this is the bag. This is so freaking cute. I'm gonna be a lot more careful with this bag. So this is so cute. It has this chain on it. But if you don't want to carry the chain, you can just wear it like this. I cannot wait to wear this. This is so freaking cute. And then I will just peel. Let me peel this off. Girl, y'all, I have got to get these gnarled fingers done. I filed all of my nails off because it was... It was just time for a new set. Girl, y'all, my nails are so freaking short. I can't peel this thing off. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Anyway, okay, girl. I'll show y'all what it looked like when I peel it off. But this is this silver is super pretty, super shiny. And then I got my favorite, which is this Nivea lotion. Oh, girl, y'all, the thing is leaking. So, yes, girls, let me wipe this off. My absolute favorite lotion. Uh-uh, y'all, look, they tape it together, too. Goodness. Girl, oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. Y'all, so, let me show you how to look sexy almost immediately. So, you're going to take your lotion and you're just going to take one pump uh -uh. and you're going to start from your neck all the way down <laughs> and you're going to rub it into your neck all the way down into your
clavicle. See, you want this part to be super like shiny. You know what I'm saying? Especially if like you're like a shy girly and you don't like showing too much of your body. The trick to being sexy without showing too much, baby, is showing them shoulders in a clavicle. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, you're going to put it all over your neck, your back. Hey, let me stop. Okay, and you're going to put it all over your chest because you want your neck, your clavicles, your chest, and your shoulderly, a hey, shoulderly. No, let me stop. I'm supposed to be acting sexy. You want your shoulders to be sexy and shiny also. So, oh, I don't want to show too much boob. Y'all, I'm trying to rub this on as sexy as I can while my hands over here looking like a, a handsome woman or a pretty man. That's what my hands looking like right now. But anyway, so you want to get everything rubbed in. Let me rub some of them a little bit on my cleavage. So you really only going to need three pumps. All right, and after you put that lotion on, you're then just going to take a little bit of some Neutrogena sesame oil. It's actually, they call it sheer moisturizing, a sheer moisturizing experience, but this is light sesame formula, and you can put that on as well. And look, y'all, look how sexy and, and like pretty that looks, and y'all... Even, look, watch this, let me put it like this. Guys, even though it's not like, you don't even have to have a super, like a super deep cleavage for this little trick to work. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's just a little bit of skin exposed, even if it's like this. If you show up to work like this, looking all shiny and sexy, it's only two things that could possibly happen. You're gonna get a promotion, are you going to get fired? One or the other. <laughs> but anyway, so y'all, look how sexy that looks. Baby, it looks so sexy. I'm just going to bring a little bit of the oil up. Alright, and so let me get this stuff out the way, girl. After you do that, hold on, let me throw this away. So after you do that and you get everything looking so sexy and so shiny and so pretty, you're gonna then take whatever your perfume, your personal choice. I'm just gonna really, just for right now, I'm gonna use this wood, sage, and sea salt Joe Malone, and I'm just gonna lightly spray my decolletage. And so that's just going to give it that special touch. Y'all, look how pretty and shiny they look. That looks so sexy. You know what I'm saying? So this is just another way to step up your sexy girl. So this is for all of the bombshells, honey. So anyway, girls, I don't know what this vlog is giving. But whatever it is, I hope that it is fun. I hope my energy wasn't too low in this vlog. But anyway, girls... Uh, today is January the 10th. Tomorrow is the 11th and we all know what the 11th is. Tomorrow is my birthday so I'm gonna probably be vlogging all day tomorrow and just probably do like a separate birthday vlog or whatever. So yeah um, we're gonna go ahead on and end it here. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. <laughs> Tonight I want a little love to be on you Can you handle that baby With your permission